definitely say it's pretty rough, but it's all controlled. I think it's good to get a few bruises every once in a while. If you take that leap, you will end up finding something amazing. You're not going out there trying to hurt anybody. I get a lot of anger out instead of letting it out on someone else at like school or something so I can just like do it legally here. It's hard hitting, but it's also strategic and meaningful. It's just really easy to fall in love with the sport, I guess. Are you team? Yeah. Tell me who you are! We are one! My name is Jessica Moon. I'm the head coach of the Cherry Mom Brawlers here in Spokane, Washington. I started skating when I was 16. That's when I started playing roller derby. I did not know how to skate beforehand. My mom actually got me into it. She kind of like forced me to go and I hated it. It was more of like a spectator sport. It was much more dress up, be a halftime show, not taken very seriously. And so as I progressed and as I became an adult skater, like I got to play a lot more competitively and I realized what I would have liked to have had as a junior skater and how much farther my career could have been had I had better structure. When everyone's up, time starts. Ready. My mom and I started this team. My mom died in 2016 and so I kept it going. This season, I actually have a coaching staff, which is really cool. When we originally started, we were female only, and then we had a couple boys who were interested in joining, and we asked the girls at the time, we're like, would you be fine with going co-ed? And we'll try it for a season. If it doesn't work, we'll go back to being all female. Is that all you got? In going co-ed, not only did it allow us to bring boys in, but it also allowed us to be more inclusive. So we've had non-binary skaters, we've had transgender skaters come through, and it doesn't really matter at this point because we're an open team. Anybody can skate for us, and it doesn't matter. Come on. Come on, man, I know you can do better than that. We're gonna go into this game fierce. We're gonna have the best time. You guys will keep your personal feelings off the floor. This is a team sport. We are here to play our game, okay? We are one through and through. I've been approached by officials to say, you're raising some really great kids. They said thank you every time they got a penalty. They didn't cause me any problems. They were really polite. This is a lot more than just roller derby. It's those small things that these kids are gonna carry with them later. As they're growing, they're going to enter the adult world, and as coaches, we value is trying to be good role models for them. The goal of roller derby is for the most points. You've got two types of skaters. You've got your jammer and you've got your blockers. The blocker's job is to stop the, the opposing team's jammers while also helping your own jammer score the most points. For each opposing skater you pass per lap, you get one point. There's constant strategy. You're playing offense and defense, either interchangeably or simultaneously. So you're trying to help your jammer get through while trying to prevent the other jammer from getting through. Defense! You're also listening to your bench for direction because when you're in the pack, you can only see so much. So it's super involved. <laughs> Yes, it's true. She is the coolest coach that I have ever met in any sport that I have ever done. Jessie's awesome. She's she's like a whole nother mom to me. When my mom's out there, she's it. One of the most rewarding things for me is being able to be honest with all these kids because sometimes, you know, they're going through something outside of Derby and you're like, let me drop some wisdom on you. Don't make a bad decision and they take that advice and they actually utilize it. It's just neat to see. Stop us.